Welcome back to SOS. I'm Stas Arm Badass. <clears throat> Today, I'm going to discuss digital libraries, not just the prepper libraries, but I'll give you some options, I guess, to get started. But I've mentioned several times back in old podcasts that I take and store stuff. And I'm going to get more into that as I, as I pull you around here to, I guess, kind of show you some of the stuff that I have. Now, I share, I share my PDFs and everything I have with the people on Patreon. That's what I do, and that's where I do that at, and I have no other platform to do it on. So that's where all that stuff goes. I share on there. And then sometimes, you know, people will share with me uh, a CD or... Uh, a USB, a little geek stick or something like that. Sometimes people send those to me and I process the information the same way. I take and I put it into my uh, library, my digital library, and then I also distribute to others. That's that's what I do. I share it because you don't know if, you know, some people share their you know, save and share their stuff different ways. Some people save and um, put their stuff away on a computer that they keep in a Faraday cage. Whatever the case is, their documents, every single document you can think of. And this is kind of a, a noting it video. And the reason I'm, I'm doing this for a reason because a lot of people might not catch the podcast when I start discussing things like this. So it's a it's kind of a follow up video to give information to people that didn't catch that. And this goes back to, if I have to get out of Dodge, if I'm getting out of Dodge, if I'm going to blow this pop stand and have to leave, I want, this could be a natural disaster. This is not some kind of, doesn't have to be related to anything else. It could be just a disaster. I have to vacate. I have to leave. And then when I leave, I want to grab stuff. If I grab if I grab one device that has everything, I have three kids. I have three kids. I have three kids to keep up with their social security and all that stuff. All of their documents, their their insurance papers, all that stuff. I have to keep up with everything. My dog, my dog has shot records. I have to keep up with his shot records and the cat and everything else. If I end up in some high school gymnasium somewhere and not a FEMA camp, then I want to make sure I've got a digital copy of all this stuff and a small laptop I can grab as well that, hey, look, it's all right here. Plug it in. This is the records and stuff. So they're good. If I can't remember a child's social security number, I'm just saying, how many of you out there as a parent can actually memorize that? Some people can. They can memorize their whole family's uh, social security numbers and anytime they're filling out forms they just know it you know because they've written it so many times but that would be the case some people in the military have that same experience especially when it comes to spouses in the military where they write their social security number so much on deer's paperwork and stuff like that that they actually know that social security number they've memorized it but in some cases i can't memorize everything so a lot of this stuff that like our records, I don't have time to grab all that stuff. It's already on a USB thumb drive. It's already on a one of the larger storage devices, one of the larger hard drives. <clears throat> I'm going to get into that stuff as I pull you over here, and I'll talk a little bit more. You could boil an egg. It's so hot. Oh, man, it feels better. Okay, so... One of the newest purchases that I made, you know, for the longest time I've been using this guy. I've had this thing for years, I think. Maybe, I don't know how many years, but years. And 
this thing has a monstrous amount of stuff on it and I've been using this one for so long and I just decided to retire it. I figured I would start over. I, I've got plenty of awesome stuff on it and I would just set it to the side. I, uh, this one is one that for OPSEC reasons I won't share with you. And another thing for OPSEC reasons, if they are listening and they are watching today, the people that have shared information with me, your uh, your identity is safe. I don't share, I don't share any information about other people on this channel. I refuse to do any of that unless they ask for me to. If I don't do, I don't do that kind of stuff on here to protect other people's identity. And, um, in our prepper community, I have received, uh, a lot of awesome a lot of awesome PDFs from other people. One person in particular sent me one to just to completely do a start over and reorganize my stuff because they were so well organized. I said, man, I'm not, I'm not even that organized, but they were well organized. So I decided to follow their template and organize my stuff with the stuff that I was given by them. And kind of like with this, this is kind this one's kind of unorganized but it does have a lot of you can find it you can find it you know it wouldn't take you very long but it, it just wasn't laid laid out in the kind of format like they had theirs laid out which I was surprised I didn't spend that much time on it you can call me lazy if you want but it's it's hard to do that stuff I'll get into this stuff here in a minute but I purchased this one this is just the little cruiser glide this there's your little let me pull you down here so you can see it. It's just plugged in right there. But 128 gigs, you can do anything on it. Movies, you know, you've got videos. If you're a YouTuber and you want your videos saved, you could save them on this thing. They do make a high-speed one. You have to pay like 10 bucks more for it. But it's the high-speed version. It moves faster. It downloads faster. So anything you've got, you know, you can store music on it. You know, all that jazzy stuff. But I'm using this as a start over because I want to take the best of from this and put it on here to go with some of my other stuff. And I want to grab something before, let's see, I almost forgot. But this guy here, this monstrous thing, this is some of my reloading data. And I know a lot of you have asked me. But I finally have my memorandum that I did for shotgun reloading in a digital format. And I've also got, this is another memorandum for myself. All these memorandums that I've written, because I have a lot of them. There's tons of them in this one. And to protect my identity, I keep this one unplugged. Now, there's tons of these that written instructions by me on reloading. And I've, I've got them all in here. And I was like, man, you know, I can salvage that stuff from that one as well. And then not just that, but all this data. You know, I've got tons of data. This is in the event that if anything ever happens to me, someone has a hard copy of this and they can start reloading. Anyone could reload just by using that book that I've created. Now, let's see. Just for example, the layout that someone else had laid out that is helpful Boom, boom. And then, boom, boom. And then that's the scan disk. And then there's the electronic library. This is just a template. And this is to kind of get you started here. And kind of a layout of, <laughs> see, there's my identity. It's stuff certain about us. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, I've gathered up, this is all recent stuff. And this is totally new. This is, uh, totally new layout i i've like i said i've completely started over and i've just started this one just yesterday and i've started putting in reloading data and then i've got like shot shell and these are different these are different pages different sheets for each one but these are from my memorandum and i finally started Putting all these together, this computer is not the fastest ever, but uh, 
takes a two hours. All right, you're taking too long. Anyways, I'm using this today because I have no other no other options. But then there's a whole ton of data here. This is all reloading data. Every bit of it, and each one of these have hundreds per page for shotgun. So imagine each one of these. There's hundreds of loads on each one of these that you click on. And it'll take you through different types of shot shell. Your basic manuals. I've got basic manuals on here. This one takes you to the internet, of course. I I don't know why it's doing that. I guess it just kind of, that's what it wanted to do. But anyways, this this is uh, 80 pages of nothing but reloading. It's nothing but a reloading manual. But this goes through tons of stuff. In the event anything ever happened and I needed it, then there it is. Shut that one. And then a layout. Let's see, there's your, anyways, tons of stuff on here. And then this is a layout that someone had sent me that I actually thought was fascinating the way it was all laid out. And then I started adding to it. You know, I've got my uh, FRS, GMRS channels and uh, all sorts of stuff here for radios. I've started adding some of my comm stuff to it. And uh, the way they had it laid out here, you know, basic stuff tactical survival medical and then it goes into so much more uh, now these folders are huge and monstrous but that just kind of sums up how you could get started and then you would want to add down here you know somewhere in here you know personal files or whatever and it's in the event that you have to get out of dodge and if you're getting out of dodge and i, I hate saying bug out all the time but if you have to get out of dodge it doesn't matter why you know, it, it doesn't have to sound like, you know, uh, Red Dawn every time I talk. So, your information, your personal stuff, every little thing could be on one device. This, like this one device here, could have all the stuff that's important to you, or that could help you rebuild. You know, anything from gardening information, or whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Uh, whatever it is that helps you the most, full-on, full-scale books because you can get full scale PDF books. You can get PDF books if you try hard enough. You know, that's another thing that I, I like to do is I get I get books and I put them on this on on well this one has this one has books, lots of books. But I wasn't gonna show all that today. But this one has tons of books and it's just it's something that's it's just for us, it's just for our family. And uh, the stuff this the stuff that's going to be put on here, I'm going to start revamping this one because there's a lot of stuff in here that I already know I don't need a repeat, so I can condense myself down a little bit to a geek stick. This can get dropped in my bug out bag or you know uh, my get out of dodge, whatever it is, and I can have that ready to go and if I need it. And then I have a small uh, a small little mini laptop that I traded an Xbox for. Back in the day. I, it's an older one. He's probably watching right now. He's a friend of mine. Uh, but we served together. He wanted an Xbox and I wanted a tiny little computer. But I still have the little tiny computer. And the thumb drive works on it. So I can take this tiny little computer. And stuff it in my bag. And I don't have to worry about all that space. Or that tiny little computer. Actually fits perfect in an ammo can. And I can put it in there with my. Then I've got myself a little Faraday cage right. So you can let you can line the inside of an ammo can and make yourself a little Faraday cage and have your little geek stick inside there with your little laptop and something to charge with like a uh, folding solar panel and then bam you've got something to set up shop and read files if you need to so you've got full scale books you can read if you, if you need to do that and uh, but anyway thought I would share I'm sharing and that's what I'm doing today I figured I would share a little bit of this. In the event that if you ever needed the idea, and this is kind of like I said, this is just a, a log of stuff I've taught, you know, <laughs> that I've forgotten to do videos on. And this is one of those videos I forgot to do. So I figured I would do that. I get people all the time that say, hey man, did you ever make a video on blah, blah, blah? Man, I forgot to do that video. I was supposed to, but I forgot to do it. This is another one of those videos. But I'm not just showing you products to go and buy. This isn't about a products buying video. This is totally up to you. 
you buy whatever you want. You know, you probably know a person that has a few thumb drives laying around somewhere and it wouldn't take that many gigabytes to get it done um, for your personal files. And scanning documents is real easy. A lot of people ask that question, but if you have anyone with a smartphone or a phone that takes photos can scan documents. So there's, uh, there's scanning apps for phones and there's scanners and places to go scan. There's all sorts of copying places throughout towns. You can go to any of these places and scan your documents and there you go. So I hope this helps. You're watching SOS. I'm Sasser and Badass. Have a beautiful, fabulous, fantastic day and take it easy.